Sumit Peer also with us on the broadcast. Sumit, I'm sure you've also now, uh, by this point, had an opportunity to actually see what went down at this rally in Rai Bareilly. One can, and it, it's possible that this argument will come out that there were so many people he couldn't uh, manage or that he couldn't control the crowd, but that's not true. When you actually look at the video, there is a reporter who's trying to do his job and then you have Rahul Gandhi asking him his name, asking him his cast, then asking him, uh, what channel do you work for? Who's the owner of your channel? Completely deflecting and not allowing a journalist to simply do his job for which you try to bash the media day in and day out. Saying that everybody is a sellout, nobody gives us a fair opportunity, nobody wants to hear us, they'll only cover the Prime Minister's rallies but not ours. And when a journalist reaches there, you're more than instigating your supporters. What has happened will go down in history today because this will be a benchmark of how rude, arrogant and how inhuman you can get. Because your name might be Rahul Gandhi or you might be coming from a very tall family or a party or a dynasty. But a normal Indian doing his job, doing his duties as a journalist, in no way, in no manner whatsoever can be beaten up, can be asked his name, can be asked his caste. And what the business he has to do with your channel, ka malik kon hai. What does, how does you know, Mr. Karthike Sharma's name make a difference? That is where it talks about political vendetta. That is where it talks about the politics of it. Because there is nothing in the name, there is nothing in the cast, there is nothing in the channel, kis se aaya, or tera malik kon hai. Because this guy is just doing his job. Because if you are asking him these four questions, that talks about the political element in it, wherein your intentions were not good with him. Because you were asking and behaving like this, then your people thought that, bhai, do chaar laga dete. When he got beaten, then he said, bhai, mat maro, mat maro, mat maro. Ab kya maat aloge kya? They have already beaten up. What the Matmaro means you don't want to kill him. Man. So, so you have done a Hassan. I was, I mean, there, recently I was seeing a video of the so-called Kisan protest. One of the Kisan was saying, oh, I went there and the reporter only got beaten up. Otherwise, they would have chopped him with his, with his words. So where are we waiting for this person to get killed? Where are we waiting for a dead body? Then we would have known something has happened. If this is how the media will be handled, if it's now how the reporters will be handled, this is the most unfortunate you know, incident what I've seen in the last so many years. And Mr. Rahul Gandhi, if it is your rally, you have to control your people. The onus lies on you. It is your rally. It is your business. It is your party. It is your Nyaya Yatra. And what about so-called Nyaya Yatra? Has this person, this poor chap, bought the Nyaya? How does it matter if he's a Brahman, he's a Shatri, he's a Dalit, or he's a Kash? How will it matter? How does it matter what is his name? He's a Hindu, Muslim, Sikh. He said, will that really matter? How does it matter which channel he works for? And how does he matter who is the owner? Because these things itself talk about you were trying to provoke the situation. You were trying to instigate your supporters. And then you were saying, because you already beaten him up. What do you want more to do? So this is, this is really, uh, this is really, I would say there's a death nail in the media today because if this starts happening to the journalists doing their job, if they start get, getting, uh, if they get beaten up in political rally, then Devigaji, there will be no journalist on the ground. We have, will have to only depend on what are the videos which come in social media and, you know, create on that. And what is this Godi media about? What is this Godi media business about? You have created this term, you have created this Jumla of Godi media, and this is how you assault people. How does it matter he's from X, Y, or Z? channel? he asked you a question, you have answer, or you can simply say, I don't want to answer you. How does the channel impact the question and how does the impact impact the channel and how does the owner impact the whole situation? Is this what Nyaya Yatra is about? Is this how you're going to give Nyaya to the common man? Is this what a reporter gets in your Nyaya Yatra? These are the questions which Congress has to answer. I think they have lost the plot. They have lost. They're completely baffled. I saw one uh, video of Mr. Rahul Gandhi where he was saying, Yaar, kya tum jai shri ram jai shri ram jai shri ram karte ho? Tum pagal ho gaye and all that. He was addressing people like that. Now this, our poor friend getting beaten up. So I think this, this uh, Modi ji's uh, alan of uh, Charso Par has really, you know, made them go crazy. They have lost the sense of balance and proportion and now they are getting physical. Politics was about talking, politics was about the argument, politics was about putting your point of view. But now what we are seeing is this mobocracy, we are seeing this gundagardi, we are seeing people getting physical and people getting beaten up and rallies. This is but very so unfortunate. On, on what basis then is a Rahul Gandhi talking about freedom of press?
he always goes abroad and that's the first thing he raises that the press is muzzled in india there is no freedom of speech and expression there is no freedom of press and this is what you're doing to a reporter simply because you want to paint the entire media as i said with the same brush you want to portray that uh, all of media in india uh, are sell outs and they're all just uh, trying to uh, propagate uh, some agenda of the government what you see devika ji what is the agenda you are asking a question you can even say no comments you can reply by saying no comments but where and how does beating up a poor chap asking him his name his caste and the owner of the channel and the owner of the channel how does that justify as a question what is media freedom or is media freedom that you should have the liberty and the freedom to beat up a journalist and the journalist should not ask a question is this is media freedom or what that when i ask you a question i don't like your question i say my people i pete do and i say okay bas aaj aaj ka itna ho gaya is this media freedom or what in which country which country where which wherever these countries he goes and talks about the media freedom in which of those countries does this happen this is utter gundagardi this is utter violence this is utter man handling of the situation i think you guys should get an fir registered because this is what it deserves because if this is going to happen to the people on the ground it is very very difficult and this is how you and these are the people who talk about the press freedom index these are the people who talk about the hunger index these are the people who talk about constitution khatre mein black day democracy khatre mein now media is the fourth pillar of the democracy and this man represents the media of the india and this is how this media is being handled he can be with any party he can have any personal affiliation he might even vote for rajiv uh, rahul gandhi or he might not vote for rahul gandhi right. but Absolutely. under what condition does he deserve to be beaten up ma'am this okay. is the bigger question kyu peet rahe ho bhai yes sumit absolutely right for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon